Simpsons season 25 premiere, Homerland. It uh, premiered just a few minutes ago, or just finished a few minutes ago. And um, overall, it was better than expected. It wasn't particularly funny. It had its moments, a few gags here and there. But what I found odd was for the premiere episode for this season, they focused on the HBO show, I believe, um, Homeland which is about terrorists and government plots and stuff like that. And I haven't personally watched it, and I found it odd that they picked not a mainstream show, but a show that not enough people watch it to understand the plot or the parody in this episode. And it was a really odd choice from you know Matt Groening and the, the creators of the show. But it did have its moments. Um, the main plot of the show was... Uh, Homer in the beginning goes to an atomic plant convention and he supposedly gets uh, brainwashed by terrorists and throughout the episode Lisa believes that he's um, conducting a secret plot to commit some kind of heinous crime or terrorist plot in Springfield particularly at his um, his job at the nuclear uh, Springfield nuclear power plant but it's revealed towards the end spoilers gonna give you a second that he was actually abducted or brainwashed by a bunch of eco-friendly pothead activists and his real intentions are to uh, let off this machine slash stench bomb in the nuclear po uh, power plant to make it smell so bad that people can't work there so they'll shut it down because if you've watched The Simpsons before Mr. Burns and his power plant is the biggest pollutant um, on that show, they destroy, you know, the water supply and get people sick, and they created Blinky the fish. But what happens in the end? Uh, Mr. Burns actually gets arrested for not having a working air conditioning system, uh, and that's against the law. And because of that, he gets arrested, and that's how Homer wasn't able to carry out his plot successfully. And throughout the show, there were some gags and funny moments that surprised me like um Bart was woken up by uh I guess the main antagonist in the show and he's actually in his sleeping bed in his bed along with Millhouse just randomly I just found that a little funny that they're just sleeping together Millhouse the the dumb-witted best friend of Bart um and along with that there were a, a few other gags like um there was quite a bit of uh cheap wiggum in the show and his um, dumb antics and demonstration, demonstrations of how bad of a cop he is and how dumb and out of it he is. Um, and along with the plot of Homer being abducted and brainwashed, uh, in the beginning, towards the beginning of the episode, it's hinted that he's been brainwashed because he doesn't drink beer, he avoids eating pork shops and decides to eat green beans which, you know, everyone gasps, like, oh my god, Homer's not drinking beer and eating fatty foods? What the hell? Um, and, you know, there are a few other things, but mostly it was kind of a okay, blandish episode, but that's expected this far in the seasons of The Simpsons. But while I was watching, all I could think about was, you know, the first 10, 12 seasons of The Simpsons with all those great, you know, gags and stuff, but it's still entertaining to watch and I missed a few chunks because for some reason my connection for my cable cut out and I missed like the first um, two minutes on and off but I did see the couch gag which it was alright it was um, Homer and his family trying to get to his couch and they had a big red velvet rope with a bouncer and he lets everybody in except Homer and whacks Homer with his baton when he tries to get in and oddly enough, uh, Lisa now plays a harp in the beginning of her, you know, school intro for the, the intro of the show and not a saxophone anymore. I don't know if that's just for this specific episode or if that's been going on for the last uh, two seasons because I didn't see almost any of the last season in very few of the season 23. So that's it. Uh, thank you for listening. This is for my old channel. I will be making some more uh, more well-edited and more well-thought-out and well-scripted 
Simpsons reviews for the earlier episodes, so if you like this, um, follow me on Twitter in the link below. Thank you.